What is up guys? I am back with more of Kathy Rain. So last time we were trying to open the uh, the briefcase uh, and uh, let's play this again. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been... Okay. So let's try that again. I'm just going to... Six five one two three. Okay, hang on. Just going to take the first numbers two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten twenty eleven twenty twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six I must be missing something. What was that weird first message on the tape? Yeah, that's what I did. Can't be open. The first... Oh! I got it backwards. Got it. So, two, three, five... Huh? Wait, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Working on my read. I just... Yeah. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, three red. a blue violet, One and blue. two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, Okay. Uh... No, no, no. Oh my gosh. I keep doing that. The red one. Three red roses. Right? So that's red. Three. Two, three, five. And one. One blue, right? So one. Two, three, five. One. And then two, six. Or three one. Okay, wait. Uh, let's just try it. Okay, two three five. One. Two six. Nope. That. No. So. Oh. Yes. Okay. All right. Open. Eh. A thick yellow. Up. Nothing. That's it. Okay. Anything else? Nothing. Go out. Now. Let's see what's that. Let's see what's in here. Yeah. There were two pictures, a newspaper clipping, a key and a tape inside. Newspaper clipping? Looks overexposed. I can't make much out. I think I see trees in the background, but most of the picture is just bright white. There's probably some way to enhance this back at school. I'll figure it out tomorrow when I'm back. Okay. Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight training. McConnell Air Force Base, 1941. Alright, so we're gonna ask we're going to ask Grandma about that one, right? An old typewriter covered in cop. No. Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. Huh. What is that? An early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Tragic story. I wonder why Grandpa saved this. Okay, right, another thing to ask. This is... It's a small key, fairly modern design. No identifying tag, unfortunately. I wonder what this unlocks. Okay, so I'm gonna... 
play that. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her first born. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. Uh, it happened to me too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. Hmm. I wonder who this cocky is. Yeah? Who is that? Alright. That's it? That's it. I've already searched that. Hmm. I've already started. Okay, down, down we go, down, down. Talk to Grandma again. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, probably, maybe not. Huh? How come I can ask her about that one? <laughs> Grams, can you tell me anything about this picture? It looks awfully bright. Perhaps something was wrong with the camera. Yeah, maybe. I should try to figure something out tomorrow at the university. Look at this photo I found in the locked briefcase. Goodness, I haven't seen that picture in years. This was taken when Joseph was stationed at McConnell Air Force Base. That's him right there on the left. What about the other two? I don't remember the name of the smiling man in the back. The gentleman on the right was Joseph's best friend, Charles Wade. All right, so <laughs> a lot of stuff to ask. <coughs> Do you know anything about this story, Grandma? Not much, dear. It was the saddest thing. The girl was only 16 years old. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember their names? Mm, let me think. I'm awfully sorry, dear. I just can't recall. That's quite all right, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always deeply affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family to ease their pain. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, McConnell Air Can you tell me anything about McConnell Air Force Base? It's not very far from Conwell Springs. Joseph was stationed there for some time during the war. I believe they're still training young pilots there today. So when did Grandpa enlist in the Air Force? Oh, it was barely past the honeymoon when Joseph left to fight in that terrible war together with his best friend Charles and my brother Andrew. Those were nerve-wracking years. I was so worried, I thought I would burst. Every short visit from Joseph was a joy, but he kept going back to the front, to my great dismay. When I told Joseph about being pregnant with your father, he finally realized that enough was enough. He had done his duty. Shortly thereafter, he returned to a quiet farmer's life in this very house, helping your great-grandfather with the crops until he passed. All right. Does the nickname Cocky mean anything to you? Sounds vaguely familiar. 
Oh. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his friends gave one another. Joseph was vigilante. I can't count the number of times he got into trouble for breaking the rules. To this day, I have no idea how he always managed to land on his feet. <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not in jail. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force might be a good place to start. Okay. Air Force Base. Call sign. I don't see a reason to... Okay. What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well, I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't seen him for years. He and Joseph grew apart before you were born. Any particular reason for that? Oh, uh, not that I know of. Okay, well, we are done. Uh... Bye, Grandma. So long. Okay. Okay, Charles Wade. Bone book. These should come in handy when I need to make... Yeah, just... Well, do... Click on... Oh. Search... Charles Wade. All right, got it. Okay. Damn, no Charles Wade in here. Was worth a shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. I should try to get a hold of him some other way. Okay. Huh. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Uh. Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Okay. Um... I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Pretend to be a cop? <laughs> I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Nice try. You know what caller ID is? You can clearly see oh, the no. station. <gasps> Goodbye. Damn it. Oh, damn, I can't pull that off. Call again. McConnell Air Force. Hi. Sure thing. Well, at least... <laughs> Okay, there's no intelligence here. It's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you recognize the aviator call sign, Cocky? Afraid not, ma'am. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Any suggestions? The only person I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. All right, thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help you? What can you tell me about McConnell Air Force Base? This is one of the oldest Air Force bases in the U.S., established during World War I. The main purpose of it is to train fighter pilots. The McConnell Flight School is well-renowned all around the country. In the late 80s, the school started accepting a limited number of civilian applicants due to the high demand. Some of the most famous dogfighters in U.S. history, such as Ethan Fireball Jenkins, Joseph Vigilante Rain, 
And Charles Wade, the great industrialist, did too. Some claim that many of his revolutionary ideas came from the former chief mechanic here, the late Niles Bloom. Interesting. Thanks for the history lesson. All right. Do you know anything about- I know that he was no longer stationed here at the base at that time, but as a Conwell Springs citizen, sure, I've heard the rumors just like everybody else. How he was found by the sheriff all messed up, oh. walking out of the woods- Any wow. theory? I'm afraid not, ma'am. But I'm positive that it had nothing to do with this base. Okay, what can you tell me about his service at McConnell? Well, Joseph Rain is a legend around here. His pile of metals weighs more than my car. I was fortunate enough to meet him before he suffered his injury, and I must say, what an inspiring man. I'm positive that he would have made general if he'd stuck around. Any idea of why he quit? He looks so happy in the pictures from the war. Oh, your family, ma'am? Granddaughter. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. I heard about his recent passing. Appreciate it, buddy. So, about him quitting. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but some say the war broke him. PTSD. Me? I don't think so. When I met him, he had this aura about him, like he wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe it was just guilt. He ended a lot of lives, but that's just me speculating. Gotcha. Thanks for the thoughts. I don't see a reason to- Alright, done. Alright, that's- Goodbye, man. Done. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Hmm. That's better. That's better. No. Uh. uh anything else? Can I do something? It looks like someone was. No, it doesn't. There's nothing. Various books. I wonder what key is this for then? Uh. That doesn't need. No. Good idea. What can I do next? Where can I go? How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. That's no good. Hey. Hi there. Okay. See ya. Doesn't work any. Key. That combination. Yeah, I know. An axe, a sled. To go back to the cemetery?
Okay. Um. I don't know what to do now. Huh. Oh, there's a new one. Hey, kid. Hi, yourself. What are you doing? None of your business. Huh. You're not here alone, right? Oh, she's around. Creepy. Creep. I don't see her. You must be blind or something. Yes, okay, creepy. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Whatever. Creepy! <laughs> it's just... I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grant. The grave is brimming with flowers. Why is he there? Oh, I don't know what to do now. Uh, can't go to the base. I thought that I can go to the base, but um, there's no location. It's just the same location. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to end the video over here, guys, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.